how's it going everyone? This is China Connor and you're watching my last Battle of Helen Masters Division Wi-Fi Battle video. If you have not checked out my other three matches from the tournament, be sure to go check those out. But we're facing against Aura. Hmm, this was a great battle by the way, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like. Here we go. So we see that my opponent is bringing a couple of things that are weak to fairies, so I brought in Mawile. And I was going to go for the play rough right off the start here because I figured he would go for Will Wisp. Because I have my Lumberry, I would not care about that for the first turn for that matter. But he goes for the um, Tongue on the first turn. And then he goes for Will O' Wisp. Unfortunately for me, I don't kick out the Sableye with that play rough, which means that he's going to end up burning me on the second turn. Which is like, uh, that sucks, and you know what else is unfortunate? I do not take out the sable eye with that iron head. I don't know how he lived that. Like, it, I'm still speechless about that. Anyways though, I have Hyper Cutter, which is not going to affect the Antidomate here, so that gives me a free opportunity to go for that Swords Dance. Which is fine with me, that kind of offsets the burn damage, but I'm still taking chip damage from that. Now, unfortunately for me, my opponent is bringing Mega Mawile. Mega Mawile was not really a huge problem, except for this battle for sure, because he's going for the sword stance of his own there, and that's really scary, because now my Gyarados, who is Focus Sash, if you don't know, um, from the tournament analysis video, if you have not watched it, I have a Focus Sash Dragon Dance Gyarados back in my pocket here. He's going to be very important for the rest of the match here. So I go into Gyarados right here and I just go for that Intimidate. I'm not always sure if it's going to help out a little bit there. It's going to do something, but not really a whole lot just because Mawa has a really good attack stat plus with the Source Dance and his, um, Huge power ability. Um, I do have a focus sash, so that kind of means I'm going to take one hit from that thing. And then I decided to switch out and go into Absol, knowing that there's going to be a sucker punch coming in my way. When you see how much this does, I'm like, geez, that's very powerful. I go for the night slash just to get a critical hit, which I do get one right there, which is perfect and that's fine with me. Oh man, Mega Mawile is nothing to mess around with, that's for sure. And here I have it, I had Sucker Punch on this Absol. I would probably take him out the Loyos, but I have Night Slash. Mm, I should probably put Sucker Punch on that Absol set. But there you go, that kind of means I'm going to lose this battle because I don't have anything. Like, I have Ice Fang, but I'm not really going to take out Loyos in one shot. Plus, he's going to outspeed me anyway. Well, that's unfortunate. I lose to Aura, which is an unfortunate defeat there. But you know what? That was a great battle, nevertheless. That was kind of a short battle. But for the next few uploads here, I'm going to have um, a couple of battle spot live narrations for you guys. Just because I'm going to practice for the Generation Showdown. I've been trying to do research on what Pokemon I'm going to bring and what types of threats that we're going to see in the Generation Showdown. You guys have a great weekend. Enjoy the Super Bowl if you're watching that on Sunday and then I will see you guys next week with some more narrated Wi-Fi battles. Alright, have a great one. Bye.